Here's a video of your new 2021 365 pack 16. Um, you got your generator up top. Uh, you got your battery compartment next to it. This button here will raise and lower the front legs. So for hooking, unhooking, leveling, things like that. There's some decorative lighting on the front cap that turns that on and off. Um, I know a little bit about the trailer. I can tell you build date. So that's the day it was uh, finished being built. So it's a 2021. Uh, there's your VIN number. Tire size, air, air pressure, all that kind of stuff's here. Uh, manually, you can uh, raise and lower the legs. There's a quarter inch hex bit that you can stick in there um, that comes with it. And you can crank those legs up and down. Uh, two 20 pound propane tanks. Those are both full and ready to go. There's one on each side. Um, this is your black tank flush. This is where you hook up a, a hose for an outside water source. City water connection, that's where your hose will connect right to the RV. If you don't have city water, then you can fill up your 100 plus gallon fresh water tank and be portable and take that water with you. Um, there's cable and satellite hookups here. Um, the sewer drain is there. So you got one black, one gray, and the second gray tank gate valve is uh, right behind there, right above that dump. So what you do is hook your sewer hose up here, pull the black out like it is now, empty the waste. After the black tank is emptied, hook a hose up to the black tank flush and you can flush that tank out. Um, make sure the gate valve's open when you hook water hose up to that. That way the water runs out of the black tank as you're putting it in. Um, shut the hose off, close the black. Pull this gray, that's bathroom sink and shower. And then the gray handle back there is for the kitchen sink. So you pull those last and then I'll kind of rinse everything out for you. Uh, we've torqued the wheels down. Uh, we've checked the air pressure. You should be all set there. Um, there's another black in the back for your rear toilet. So pull that and that'll fill the black tank back here. This is where your 50 amp power supply cord goes. Um, you have a 50 to 30 amp adapter as well as a 30 to 15 that comes with it. There's a spot for your sewer hose. This is a pump for your fuel tank in the back. There's your fuel pump, 30 gallon tank. You've got a roof ladder. Um, this one's wired for a backup camera, so you can always install one there if you want. This is where you crank the spare tire down at. Um, outside TV hookups. And we got two awnings, one for the back, one for the front. Power jacks in the rear, push a button, those drop down. Those were manual on the last ones I've been ordering in, so that's great. Another outside port, outside kitchen here. Ice maker, uh, refrigerator, storage. There's a quick connect underneath, so if you want to run an outside grill, you can plug one in there. Um, flip up steps. Water heater runs off gas or electric. If you want it to run off electric, there's a um, switch outside for that. If you want it to run off propane, there's a switch inside for propane. So electric uh, switch outside, propane switch inside. There's your 50 amp cord, shower hose, table. And then here's your second tank. Doors are new too, these are glass. So, um, very cool looking door. Um, gen start here. And then all your breakers and fuses are down below. Here's your refrigerator. Powered beds. Um, top bunk's pinned up right now. Um, there's, well it's not, there's four pins that come with it. They go in that hole and that holds the top bunk up. And then you push the button and that lowers the bottom bunk. And then you can have headroom and keep that top one pinned up. But there's um, there's some stuff here where you can move the beds around. So this will raise and lower it. There's USB charging port. This is the dimmer switch for the rear awning. And then there's some lights back here. Deck light, porch light, interior light. And there's your gate for the patio. There's your half bath. 
Wash your dryer hook up. Fireplace runs off electricity. Um, that's your solar panel working. It's got 12.7 um, volts. There's your radio. Um, dimmer switch for this awning. This will tell you what the fresh water tank is up to. Battery. Black, black, gray, and gray. So this will tell you exactly how full your tanks are. Press a button and it'll give you a rundown right above it. Propane switch for the water heaters here. We know the electric is outside. These are all lights. Um, front awning, rear awning, main slide. Heating and cooling. You've got fan, you can just circulate air and run the fan. You can put it on air conditioning. So it just continuously runs. If you hit it again, it goes to auto. And that's gonna be a thermostat controlled situation. And then heat, and then off. Um, this is for the bedroom AC. Just put it to, you can either run the fan again or cool. And this is for the bedroom slide out in and out. These are lights. So when you're running this in, just hold the button down. I got my hand bent around the corner there. Now, if you open up the vents in the AC, it'll blow down in this room. Otherwise, if you close them, it'll push through the whole trailer. And that includes the front one. Here's your bathroom. Hope this video helps. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to give me a call. Thank you.